And welcome to Your Regina 120. I am Jeff Cliff. And I am Cohen Hooper. And today we are going to have yet another video of something that I learned as a student at the university that I think uh, is valuable to know about. Uh, and this one is actually in the form of a dialogue. And I'm going to probably not pronounce these two names right, but uh, the setting is sometime in ancient Greece. It was a hot summer day. Uh, and, you know, people were curious about various things. Then you have these two guys that are probably drinking, uh, probably wine, having a chat. And they're asking each other questions, and one of the guys uh, is going to kind of start out here. The two people in this situation are Dionysodorus and Sisepius. So... I'm not legal drinking yet. That's okay. Uh, so Dionysodorus, you may begin this scene. You have a dog. Yes, a villain of one. And he has puppies. Yes, and they are very much like himself. And the dog is the father of them. Yes. I certainly saw him and the mother of the puppies come together. So, yes. And he is not yours. Oh no, he's, he's mine. I, to be sure, he is. Then he is a father and he is yours, Eric. No. This, he is your father and this puff, th the puppies are your brothers. Let me ask you one little question once more. You beat this dog. Indeed I do, and I only wish that I could beat you instead of him. <laughs> then you beat your father. Yes, that, that is the scene. Of course, the, uh, the question is, do you beat your father? Which is, of course, kind of an insult, because in ancient Greece, you would definitely not want to beat your father. It, it was a very important thing to honor your family, and so the, the idea of beating your father, he, he basically walked into that one. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, but what, what this is from, this is from a uh, dialogue called Eutychemus, uh, written by Plato, which we'll talk a little bit about in the future. Uh, and the, the dialogue is full of examples like this, where you're, you, you have th this guy, this um, Dionysodorus, who is a sophist, uh, meaning that he goes from city to city teaching people or confusing people and teaching people logic and rhetoric with the intent of being able to walk people into situations like that where you're able to, to get someone to say something that they may not otherwise actually want to say, or maybe to make them look bad in public. This is actually a valuable thing, at least in ancient Greece, uh, and of course in current political uh, arenas, where if you can make your political opponent look bad, uh, then you can s you know, basically score points with the public, and if you're in a democratic system, like in ancient Greece, you can get people to vote against them. Because, I mean, who would vote for a guy who beats his father? Right. It, it just wouldn't happen. It, it's, it's a terrible thing, so why would you do that? Um, and so in this case, there, there's a clear uh, sleight of hand going on here. Uh, the, uh, there, there's, there's th he, he clearly doesn't actually literally beat his father, and yet why would he say that? Why would he say that he beats his father? Well, in this sense, when he says father, he means the father of the puppies. Uh, and so Technically speaking, it is his father of the puppies, but the, the meaning of the word father isn't quite the same as you know, the, his actual parent, his father. So although it is, is in his possession, is therefore his father, it is not his father. And so attempting to paint the two as the same thing uh, is an error, and it is in fact a logical fallacy. Surprise, surprise, we're still on logical fallacies. But uh, this is just the, the sort of classic example of how to use language in a way that isn't actually about the truth. It's, it's not about determining whether or not he, in fact, beats his father. It's, it's using language to just make it look like he is, or at least make it so that you can get a quote that you wouldn't want made about him in public. You wouldn't want someone to say, hey, this is, you know, the, I, I beat my, my father in public. You would never want to say that, yeah. Yeah, especially if you're someone important, like a, a prominent businessman, getting someone to say something like that so you can quote them, it, it's, it, it's underhanded and dishonest, which is what the sophists were more or less all about, is, is becoming as underhanded as possible, and as skilled in being underhanded as possible. What he's, Plato was trying to do in this particular part of the dialogue was point out a way that they were being underhanded in those days. They were. They may not have said this exact thing, but they were certainly making this kind of argument and certainly making people look bad using this kind of argument. And you can still see this happen to this day. People will go in newspapers and quote people 
saying similarly nasty things without the rest of the context that would clear up that, in fact, you know, if you had heard the whole thing, you would know that he's not actually talking about his father. But if you only heard about the last part, you would assume so. So this is something to watch out for. If you're seeing something quoted, or if you're seeing someone trying to portray someone in a negative light, see if they're doing this. See if they're actually using the multiple definitions of words in a sense to make their opponent look bad. Because this does happen, you will find this in, in practice. Um, so this is a hopefully short and sweet video, thanks to uh, my uh, Cohen, right? Yeah. And uh, I guess you have, you have a YouTube video as well. Or uh, yeah, it's nothing big. Ju it's um, I haven't even posted anything what, what's yet, the channel but name again? it is Permanent Cloak. Permanent Cloak. So go check out Permanent Cloak on YouTube. We'll hopefully have a link to that. And uh, thank you very much for your help. Do you have any questions from the audience? No? Awesome. We don't have an audience today. Well, we got this. I hear Cherry. Are we here, Cherry? Thank you very much for watching, and uh, we'll see you next video.